All right, everyone, welcome back to another episode. Today we got a bunch of stuff to do. Uh, we're going to start here by going back to Brynjolf and completing the uh, Hunting Brew Mead quest. And right, let's talk to Lily here so we can maybe get a horse in the future. I paid Sibby half the cost of Frost. It does not. I want you to talk to Sibby for me. Then I want you to bring me Frost. Easy peasy, we'll get Frost. I regret it. For you, buddy. Head to the Riften Jail and talk to Sibby. You'll be well paid for your time. All right, I'll do that some other time. Um, yeah, so we're gonna head over to Brynjolf, finish this uh, quest, and then we are going to head off to Solitude to continue the Thieves Guild, actually. So, yeah. And we should be making a ton of money here. Um, because we have a bunch of stuff we can sell to Tanelia. So that's going to be good. I don't remember how much money we got right now, but we'll see in a minute here. fun part. Let's find Brynjolf. Um, guessing he's just in the ragged flagon. Alright, let's see here. Look around you. The flagon, uh, the gill, it's all falling apart. Doesn't look I like it. Alright, let's check the local map. And he is in the cistern, alright. Guess we just missed him. That's the pretty bad thing about no HUD. No idea where we're going, and we're going to the left here, I guess. Oh yeah, I remember now. He's practicing on some dummies or something. Oh, he's just standing there. Never mind. Word on the street is that poor Sabjorn has found himself in White Run's prison. Yeah, poor guy. Exactly. Now, Maven sent word that you discovered something else while you were out there. Then so, this is beyond coincidence. Someone's trying to take us down by driving a wedge between Maven and the guild. Mercer thinks he knows a way to identify this new thorn in our side. And if I were you, I'd hurry. I've never seen him this angry before. Oh yeah, so there's some extra uh, Thieves Guild gear we can get here if we want it, I guess. If we lose ours somehow or sell it by accident. So that's kind of nice, I guess. Hello, Mercer. I've consulted my contacts regarding the information you recovered from Golden Glow Estate, but no one can identify that symbol. It would seem our adversary is attempting to take us apart indirectly by angering Maven Blackbriar. Very clever. Don't dismiss our adversary so easily. They're well-funded, patient, and have been able to avoid identification for years. However, don't mistake my admiration for complacency. All right, Mercer. Our Whatever. Because even after all their posturing and planning, the parchment you recovered mentions a gajo lie. According to my sources, that's an old alias used by one of Gajal our Gajal lie contacts. and a golem eye. That's Gullam not a very eye. good alias, if I'd say so. Golem eye is our inside man at the East Empire Company in Solitude. I'm betting he acted as a go-between for the sale of Golden Glow Estate and that he can finger our buyer. Get out there, shake him down, and see what you come up with. Talk to Brignol. Yes, sir. All right. You have anything for me? Whoa, what? <laughs> He's a magician. Wow, that was weird. I can get you there. All right, buddy, chill. Just calm down. I can't believe Gullet was mixed up in this. Dangling his boots in the water. What are you doing, bro? Trouble. Getting your boots wet. one of the most stubborn lizards I've ever met. You have your work cut out for you. Yeah, going this is going to be tough, off. actually, this mission. That fails, follow him gonna and see rely he's heavily up. on our sneak. Hopefully he's our sneak is high enough. You'll be able to use it as leverage. Oh, 
I'm glad to see you're embracing our methods. It would be a waste to lose a contact at the East Empire Company before we had the entire story. Just keep on Golemai's tail, and he's bound to step into something he can't scrape off his boot. All right. Good luck in solitude. Let's go keep talk to Golemai then. Twenty-six hundred bucks, and we can sell a bunch of stuff. Actually, we're only going to be able to sell our mead, probably. Because she won't have... She only has, like, a thousand gold or something. Ready for some work, or Get the hood on. The Hello. Usual guild rate. Let's yeah, take a thousand look bucks. So, let's see. 220? Yeah. We'll just get a thousand from her. Exactly a thousand. That's always nice. Helps my OCD... Still a pretty high carry weight, but not much we can do about that. We don't really have a place to store our items, a house. But while we're here, we're just going to talk to Delvin and Vex so we can do some um, of their missions. If we come across them, I'll tell you what we do. That's where you come in. All you need to do is ask, and we can both come out of this smelling like a rose. Oh, and I can sell my well, well, queen bee. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, there you go. This should come. Don't know how much it's going to be worth at our level right now, but we'll see. Two hundred bucks. Uh, Need some gold. Well, well. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, I think you'll find this payment to Whatever, be good and fair. Don't really need money right now. I had all the fishing. Numbers and bedlam jobs. If break-ins are more your thing, go most of the establishment, your job, feel like doing a bit of writing. Nice. Yeah, numbers jobs are the yeah, best because all you do is, is you press E on the book while sneaking. I have, I handle the burglary, shell sweep, and heist jobs. Most of them involve breaking in. If you don't like that kind of work, talk to Delvin. He runs the more up close and personal. I forget which one's the best for this, but we'll just do a uh, heist or burglary. Every now and again, we like to remind the shopkeepers that we're in charge. If that means breaking into their strong boxes and stealing something valuable from them, then so be it. Feel like doing a bit of shopping? The guild will. Yeah, heist. Heist ones are super easy because you just take an There's item. Everything you need to know. I don't know why I said we don't have a house earlier, because we do. I forgot. <laughs> okay. Get back in, bro. You can't be out here. Bye. Goodness gracious, these guys just want to get caught. Okay, stables and... Yeah. We want to go to Solitude. And where is this? White Run and White Run. That's pretty good, actually. Because once we do three, uh, I think it's maybe three of each job. So, like, three from Delvin and three from Vex in one city. Then we can, like, bribe the guards and stuff. And we can steal stuff without people caring that much. Maybe it's just three jobs in one city. I don't remember. It's been a while. Need a ride? Where do you want to go? All right. Anyways, solitude back, twenty bucks. It's nothing. We're rich. But first, luck with Sapphire? we have Eight. fixed I your debt. Say. Look, I was saving this, but I wanted you to have it. Thank you for I the potion. I needed if Sapphire came. 
So we get an invisibility potion. Extended invisibility, nice. I don't need it anymore. That could come off, in use. Beautiful old city. Capital in this next uh, mission. So that's that's good. Alright, so... Let's head down here, take the eggs, obviously. Need those chicken eggs. There we go. And, oh! Is that? No. Okay, I thought he was dead. It's just sleeping on the ground, you know. Midday. Hello, ma'am. Can I help you? If we sell her, um, let's see, what do we have? What do we actually want to sell? We just want to sell one, or the lowest amount possible. Nine. Until next time. Yeah, so we'll My just sell her one. Honest pay for and honest now work. we can have, we can take hmm. one of her horses without her getting mad at us. So we basically bought a horse for a potato or a leak. So this is our potato horse. But yeah. That's a nice little trick you can do if you need a quick horse for a you actually gain money for getting the horse. It's like she's paying you to take the horse basically. But yeah. Let's head down. Whoa, parkour. And we can't get off here? I guess there's not enough room. There we go. Hello, sir. Nothing to see. And... Oh yeah, I'm stupid. We have to go up to solitude. That was... dumb. Alright, back up we go, I guess. Wow, this is actually really hard to steer. Don't mind me just running up the stairs with the horse. And we'll just leave him here. He'll probably run back down to the stables. Yeah, that's fine. We don't really need him. Just kind of a convenience thing. All right, and oh yeah, Rogvir. Guess we'll stay for the show, why not? Sword, would you? I have a little problem you could solve. Traitor! You Traitor. It's a classic. Alright, come on, let's just let's get it going. Got things to do. By opening that gate for Ulfric, you betrayed the people of Solid. There was no murder. Liar. He beat the High King in fair combat. Such is our way. Such is the ancient custom of Skyrim and all Nords. Boo. boo. Not actually boo because he helped Alfred, but whatever. On this day, I go to Sovereign God. My ancestors are smiling at me, Imperials. Good night, sir. 
I like how no words are said after. Palettes, you might want to that Except this woman, she's worried about what I'm wearing. I'm just dragging ahead and she cares about my clothes. I just want to head off. There we go. Thank you. Thank you guys for the free show. You stay out of trouble now. Bye. All right, winking skeever. Hello, Gollum. So, what? I don't deal in land or property. Now, if you're looking for goods, you've come to the right person. Oh, wait. I'm sorry to say I know very little about that uh, bee farm. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't. I can't be expected to remember All every right. deal I handle. So here's what we gotta do. We gotta go to the Blue Palace. And steal some wine. But I wanna see if I can persuade him. I've never actually tried. Actually, like, I've never actually tried to... Like, get my speech high enough to pass the speech, the speech check. So I wanna see if we give this guy a queen. If we can pass it. Here's some new dialogue, you know? Yeah. Oh, and you can actually talk to this guy. I may have accidentally let a prisoner escape. The leader of one of those bandit groups. What? I told everyone he died during questioning, and I need you to track him down and make sure he doesn't show up to disprove that. Wow. Good. Okay. I'll have a sack of coin waiting for you when you get back. A sack of coin. Heck yeah. Ain't got one. That's what I like to hear. But I fancy a chance at that Jari Ross scrawny neck. Yeah, Jari Ross, pretty bad. Foot in the city if High King Torrig was still alive, I can tell you that. All right, whatever. Stay out of trouble now. The Castle Dower Dungeon can break even the. Hi, I'm the headsman here in solitude. It's my job. Depends on what you mean by busy. I'm also the head jailer in the dungeon here. Quiet job usually. Okay, cool. Bye. Uh, nothing. But yeah, let's see if we can uh, pass the speech check here. Let's see, gift of charity. Okay. So what? I don't deal in. La oh, I'm sorry to say I know. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. All right. I don't care what you promise. If I tell you the buyer's name and word gets around, okay, no. Ruin me. Didn't work. Maybe intimidate. Hasn't Mercer Frey? You can oh yeah. And your only contact with the nope. So maybe you can pass it, you but it, there is something I've been trying to get my hands on. We are not a on. high enough level of speech. I have a buyer looking for a case of Firebrand wine. Bring it to me, and we'll talk about gold. All right, so let's go grab this wine from the palace, and that is that should be super easy because it's in a secluded hallway, so shouldn't be a problem. Plus, we get a bunch of ingredients on the way. Wow, there's actually so many ingredients. This is awesome. And good ones, like the dragon's tongue, blue mountain flower, and I'm pretty sure there's hanging moss on the side here, too. Yeah. Nice. And unfortunately, I know that this hanging moss right here is considered stealing if you take it. So that sucks. But yeah, we should be able to grab this wine, no problem. Sweet. 
Just looking for stuff to steal, you never know. So many ingredients, wow. Oh, looks like, like we missed that one. Oh, and there should be a lot of nightshade in here. Yeah. Always by the tombstones. No, get away. Before I change my mind. Thank you. Perfect. But I suppose I need to pay you something for the goods. I don't know what he gives us. Not at Maybe all. it's just a potion? As I forget. As Golden Glow Estate goes, I was approached by a woman who wanted me to act as the broker for something big. She flashed a bag of gold in my face and said all I had to do was pay Arankoff for the estate. I brought him the coin and walked away with her copy of the deed. Not at all. I tend not to ask too many questions when I'm on the job. However, I did notice she was quite angry. It was being directed at Mercer Frey. In this business, we rarely deal in names. Our identity comes from how much coin we carry. Look, that's all I know. Now, since our transaction is done, I'll be on You'll my way. You'll be on your way, hey? I will be on your way, too. Alrighty. You again. We have nothing what? else to discuss. You again. I was I stood here the whole time, brother. Wow, we have a lot of apparel to sell. That key could be useful. I think I want to try and take it. Oh my goodness, sir. Just go on your way. And we do have a pickpocketing potion. Alright, so we are going to go for this. 67. That should be no problem. No bounty right now, okay. Or... Yeah, we'll just wait until he... Um, until we're outside of the gates. So there's no guards staring right at us. Let's go for it. We're not even going to use the potion. We're just going to go for it. 67%. Yeah. And we got it. Nice. No problem. Hopefully that's actually useful. I think we need it. Or I think it'll be useful for the first... The initial entrance into the... East Empire Company. Just gonna look for ingredients on our way down, because this guy walks so slow. 
Oh, I didn't actually know you could close that. Hmm. Oh, I've never been over here either. This is interesting. Learn something new every day. Still finding new things in Skyrim. It's a good sign. Oh wow, he's actually ripping. That looked like a cave for a sec to me. Just a crack in the rock, but okay. I hate how slow he walks. At least run, come on. Come on, Todd, make him run. But we're getting a ton of ingredients. Lavender is super good. There's so many birds. I'd like to try and kill one. You probably want someone else. I'm just, I take care of the, I hate it. Everyone oh, poor guy. Sorry for me, so they don't treat me too bad, but... I feel sorry for you. I wonder if you can adopt him. Probably not, actually. Oh my gosh, there's so many. Oh wait, I've never seen this many. Let's see if we can get lucky. Ah, uh, no. Just wasted an orcish arrow. Whoops, whatever. We're actually super low on arrows. We don't have too many. Should be fine though. I don't think we'll be using too many in this quest. Goodness. Just keep walking, sir. You talk to Ed Brothers. DJ has no words for you. You have no DJ, you are scum. Go away. Hmm? Sorry, I was like Some say I got my position. This looks like a shop. Why can't I sell to you? Oh. The man's given me no. What? Oh my gosh. Oh. <gasps> what the heck? Oh my goodness, he's tweaking. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm so happy I found this. Like I said, still finding new things. It's a good one. I'll remember that one. Oh, and a nice book here. Oh, but we already, we've already read this one. Pretty sure that one's worth like 60. That pheasant is sick, though. <laughs> so yeah, I think we should just be able to open this door since we have the key. Make sure there's no guards, though, because I don't think we're allowed to be in here. Yeah, so we used the key. You could hear it there. Come on. And that is going to do it for this episode, guys. So thank you all for watching. In the next one, we will be completing this quest, hopefully not dying. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a going to be a tough one. But anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.